Good morning, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says 17 minutes past 8 on Saturday morning. I'm at the Maxwell Station out the Muckross Road out of Killarney. Uh, sun is shining, glorious morning. I'm here uh, with internet uh, or Wi Fi. I hadn't got it in the camper van and had the laptop charged as I went playing poker last night in the Q Care. Uh, met John from uh, Kildare, living in Killarney, Lily White. Just him that left the message up yesterday that there was a game of poker on. And it was Justin O'Donovan actually that told me that because I hadn't. So my phone was running out of fuel yesterday. Forgot to bring the charger for uh, the laptop or for the phone. Um, Anyway, we're getting sort of organised. I'll be back again here tomorrow morning, hopefully. It's a good place. I'm going to have the breakfast now in a few minutes. I had a cup of tea already. Bless orange juice. Um, we got out of uh, Charleville yesterday morning. I left about eight. Didn't get a week of sleep after half five. I never heard so many lorries up and down the road because I'd parked in a wrong spot. I parked on the main street and... I had planned to move it later into a quiet area, but see, having a few pints in, I couldn't do that. But I uh, slept well enough, Midland. I uh, had a nap yesterday afternoon in uh, Killarney when I arrived. Uh, shout out and thanks to the O'Briens for taking such good care of me and for the f several customers that came in. Dimitri O'D, he's a Dutchman, uh, never back to Harsonk, he arrived in Cherville, and he loves Paddy Power's money now or the Green Bucky, as I like to call him. Uh, Alan, as well, I forget his surname. I met him a couple of times in Limerick at the races before. He came in late that night, but I uh, wanted to treat me, but I uh, will have that pint again, because I had about four, and it was enough. And thanks very much to Burnley for the lovely dessert. I must say it was a touching uh, thing to do. Uh, got to the races early yesterday, I had the dinner, uh, in the because I was hungry and I heard to find parking in town, so it's just as well to go to the race track around two ish and have the dinner before the races. And uh, about a six out of ten, I give for the dinner. Um, no dessert. We had uh, a day yesterday that I left loyalty behind me, went against Coltrane, uh, thought that the pace would suit um, Quick Thorn and the rain as well came for uh, she could be uh, anything got the forecast up all right i actually put a few quid on her before the off because i seen the late money coming for a seven two which is two to one favorite i was discussed with myself for not staying with her because she had won at six to one and nine to two for us before and an each way bet in galway on her but i thought the other one was left a lot to do by towning but uh, the slowness of the ground suited uh, she could be anything um, didn't see a couple of the races. Uh, I just seen the Judmont. Or well, not the Judmont, the Nunthorpe. Um, Trailblazing Tactics by Live Your Dream. But there's a power of stuff to go through a plethora today, so I'll go through it as fast as possible. I'm going to stay loyal as best I can. In the first race we look at today is the 536 at uh, Cartmel. Aramax, won first to last twice. So I have to stay loyal to that. Um, now it's up to one thirty-eight. Uh, we took five pounds, up eleven pounds in total altogether for winning its two uh, races. But um, it was um, rated that high and higher before. One forty, which is with uh, Gordon Elliott. Um, the one up the track, the extra furlong will uh, suit as well. Um, back to tradition that won it. It won't be simple but it's a, it's a win bet because I have to stay loyal. Uh, then we go to York. Uh, Nostrum will probably win the first race is catching up. We have a bus horse in the second race, Lordship. Form has been down a bit just to buy that horse in, uh, in Goodwood just this evening. It, it, it ran sort of funny. It was head up in there. It's like me going home at full of Porter if there is still any. Um, but we have to stay loyal to Lordship. Uh, it was won twice, as I said, for us. I 
to get the money on Monday, but it, uh, it holds up the second day, and a race that didn't sort of suit it at all. But the form just, I don't know, um, the Cynthia sort of let it down as well. But it's a loyalty bet. On to the three o'clock. Uh, a horse that I'm going against Kinross. I'm going to go with Sacred. <laughs> nearly won for us in Royal Ascot when we got collared on the line by the one and only. You know, the lad that likes to leave them late. And cad him. So I think it's running better this year than last year. Um, she's. Haggis is going well. I'm on sacred. On to the big one of the day, the Ebor. 300,000 sterling, first prize. We have our little, our little rooster here, Sweet William. Won for Celeste twice again. Uh, I wasn't sure to back at Anti Post because uh, the owners have said they weren't going for the race, but uh, Johnny G was always. Uh, Adamant about going for it. Um, 95. It could be well in, hopefully. Uh, win bet on that. That'll be, hopefully, that'll be the one I really, really, really want to see winning today, the Sweet William. I get very fond of that horse. We have a few uh, horses there we're back before. We have Scriptwriter, we have Inemy, uh, we have HMS President. Um, Saratoga Gold, Berkshire Rocco, Adjuvant, Post Impressionist, and the power of them now is uh, back to put um, on Sweet William. If there was an outsider probably that might have a shot at it, it would be a uh, um, scriptwriter, like the top of the ground. Uh, on to the 410. We have a sweet in Orazio, the last time in the Shores Cup. Heavy ground got bogged down in it, I thought. I'd be giving that another chance. It's a nice price each way there. Um, it had won on uh, different kinds of ground before, but it's uh, run in uh, behind uh, St. Lawrence, was on top of the ground. But we'll see the prices. So many in that race, it's like going to a dance years ago, you know every girl on the dance floor, you know every one of these horses. Horazio's 9 to 1 there with uh, 5 places. That's worth a bit. Uh, and the, the finale of the day, um, Astro King runs really well, at, uh, even though it's uh, a 6 year old. It uh, runs really well in York. Uh, the second the last chance, 50 to 1. What the hell happened there? Money for Gassy, I see. Gassy was 11 to 1 just leave him. Uh, step back and trip. We want to do the, uh, the work the article for that. But uh, 4 to Coupier and second to Pride of America over uh, in York. Uh, that would be my each way bet in that race. In uh, Cambridgeshire, at uh, the Curra, um, a horse that I was featuring in Galway in, in, on the Sunday was no more portable, got no more run, but it runs well in the Curra. I'd be giving it one last shot there each way, they're paying six places. It's a uh, 14 to 1 shot for 365. In Killarney, um, Svelte Tom, we've back to the couple of times before, uh, that's in the, the listed handicap chase. In the, the novice chase, Salvador Ziggy, to get even money, uh, both horses as well. Uh, Captain Conby is the top rated hurdler in. Uh, making his debut over fences. Um, if it uh, showed up, there was um, the 
340. Someone told me the other night in Charleville that Shannon Glory has been aimed at this race. Uh, big price there, 14 to 1. It actually likes the track because it won its maiden hurdle there last year. Uh, had a few spins over the jumps. And according to what I heard the other night, this was a pipe opener the last day. Not sure how reliable that is now, but we will see. Actually, our floor line is back from Finster's as well. It's a fabulous affair there. Hard target. First, we've back the last couple of times. Uh, we'll be able to see how good that form was the last time because in the previous race, uh, ours defeated the last time is out, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Social. So if Mr. Social was to run really well, that form would be frank. Our target finally might get uh, into the winner's circle again. There's. Um, Uh, Windsor. So the legend is out this evening in the 620. Went off favourite last year for the Melbourne Cup. It was fourth. Um, the one to fear probably would be um, Lions Pride. It's a likely race, only twice raced three year old from. Johnny Galton here. The Dawn the Legend is race 115, isn't it? One fifteen. Ferguson knows the time of day. I see passengers out this evening as well from uh, running the Derby. Tunisian Westland blows. Anyway, I'll get this into the oven. Sun is cracking the stones here. I say this is great this morning, I thought no drink. Uh, I'll try and get this up uh, as quick as possible. I'll see what I can write up before I go. Uh, if not, you'll have to listen to it. Flash the book is over and out. <laughs> 